this is my three what well, I'm going to call it an aerial base, so that's what my understanding is. You put this outside and you, I have made this already, I think I do have another video about this. Two balls to go in there, heads on, sort of on the other side, slide that on. Not 100% cent here um, Sorry, but I made this plate for the bottom. Actually, that's upside down. It does go a certain way up. Want the narrow nut bolts in there. Okay, put the um, land cable in first because you're never going to get out once this is in. That's what that little latch, well, almost little cut out in here is for. Okay. Because this didn't come with like the plate on here or a mountain thing on. But these have to be mounted vertically outside, well they're for outside. And I say don't put them in the sun and don't put them in the rain and don't put them in the shade and don't put them in where it's windy and don't put them in the, where there's daylight on and don't put them where there's dark on. So as I can see any excuse to say they're not working. They have to be totally vertical, tenth of a millionth of a degree out and they won't work. Right, there we are. I've just got Allen headed countersunk balls, M3s. I think they're about 20 millimetres long, maybe 15. But they do recommend, well they do say really you want security heads on those. What's the point really? But that's in there pretty firm and because of the hook on here that's on these land cables. Let me try and get the other end to show you. These land cables do have this like plastic hook on and that latches on inside. Then you can't really, well you might be able to get something in there to get at it but not really secure. If you ask my opinion. Somebody wants a naked, naked SIM card out, I don't know. Anyway, so that's that. I have to cover this up because it's got passwords on and such like. And that's like to latch it onto a, a wall. 